everyone. A very warm welcome to your presence here today. My name is Rosnita from SL. Today we have Encik Ismawi and he will be discussing on GoPro professional video editing tips and technique. If you have any question regarding this topic, do leave your message in the comment section and Mr. Ismawi will answer them right after his presentation. Without further ado, I pass this mic to Mr. Ismawi. Thank you. Thank you, Rosmita. Thank you. Apa khabar? Hai. Assalamualaikum semua orang. Selamat petang. Hari Kamis 23 Jun 2022. Okay, hari ni bersama dengan saya lagi. Okay, uh, today with me, Ismail Ismail. So, untuk for today with free webinar, I will be conducting in a multi-language, iaitu BM dan Bahasa and English lah. Alright. So, uh, without further ado, uh, topik kita hari ni adalah our topic today is a professional video editing tips and techniques. Okay, so before I start my uh, presentation, let me share to you uh, my slide first. And please let me know if uh, you can hear my voice or my voice is not clear or maybe uh, my picture is not sharp. Let me know, okay? All right, so let me share my slide first. Share screen. Okay, all right. So, uh, this is a uh, two-day topic. Uh, let me click as a slideshow. Okay, ready. Uh, right, display setting. Uh, swap presenter. Ah, okay. Okay. So again. Uh, today workshop or today talk, we talk about professional video editing tips and technique by me, Ismawi Ismail. And the software that we are going to use today is Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so I know, I know, whoever use Adobe Premiere Pro for a beginner or for newbie, it's a little bit headache, right? Sometimes we are confused where to go, what to do, right? Uh, because it's a professional software that you can make everything for video production. And they have a lot of function and button. So today, apa kita nak buat? Uh, we're going to simplify and we're going to focus on tip and tricks how to edit well. Macam ni kita nak edit dengan cara yang lebih baik dan memahami Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go to the next slide. Uh, so again, this is me. <laughs> Ismail Ismail. I have experience in industry and also uh, education. Alright. So let's talk about me. Let's talk about Premiere Pro. Ah, so today I'm going to share to you these five basic techniques. Uh, it's actually it's a basic, but it's enhance your video. Uh, enhance tu maksudnya kita jadikan video kita better look. Ah, so kita ada lima. So lima tips and techniques for today. So maybe di hari yang lain, another day, I'm going to share another five tips. Ah, kan macam tu kan? Okay, so what you're going to do or what you need to know is the first thing is uh, iaitu, we need to know how to cut and what is the shortcut. Uh, because editing video is about cut and paste our clip and make it as a one whole presentable video. Uh, so, itu yang pertama. Okay, so next adalah kita akan bercerita tentang freeze frame. Why we freeze the frame? Ah, uh, kan? So, in a video editing software, so the, the video is a moving picture. So why we need to fix the frame? Uh, this is where we're going to stop and put graphic on our product, on our video, on our title and everything. So I'm going to explain first and then after this, I'm going to share to you uh, my uh, Adobe Premiere. Eh? Tips number three is crop video. Yes. So this is it's a need to know skill as a video editor. No matter uh, what type of uh, software that I'm using, okay, it's either Premiere Pro, uh, Adobe Vegas, uh, Final Cut, CapCut, VN. So we need to know how to crop our video, how to compose and arrange it. Ah, uh, right. So it's important for you as a video editor, especially using Adobe Premiere. Number four is a reverse video, and lastly, it's all about transition. Ah, simplify basic tips and technique that can enhance your editing experience and also enhance your video production. Ah, okay. 
shortcut, freeze frame, crop video, reverse video, and transition. Okay, let's look one by one. Okay, so shortcut. Ah, always remember shortcut for cut is we're going to click Ctrl K for Windows and Command K for Mac. Uh, so, Ctrl K actually is a shortcut for add edit. So, we're going to split the clip to two. So, it's a, actually it's the same function like a cut. So, we don't have to click C for razor uh, to, click, uh, to cut our uh, clip. But we can use this command and it will help you uh, edit faster uh, and uh, yeah, enhance your experience in editing uh, easier. Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to open my Adobe Premiere. Okay, let me oops. Let me check my Adobe Premiere. Ha ha. Okay, let me zoom into my clip. Okay, so I'm going to move it here. So I'm going to take one of the clip. So maybe we're going to take okay this one. Okay, so let's zoom it in our timeline. Right. Now we have our video. Okay, let me resize our video. Okay, so this is my clip. So we can see there's a, a motion in my clip. Okay, we can see this part is moving. So if let's say I want to cut it out, or I want to cut the clip to make it shorter. So let's say we start from here and we're going to edit, uh, end it from here. So end here, start here. What you're going to do? Hold on, ah. Okay. So we're going to do. We're going to bring our playhead. This, uh, the blue line we call it playhead. So we're going to bring our playhead here. So let's uh jog it, move it here. Okay. Select your clip. Click Control K. Control K. Now we already split the video. See, this is how easy to cut your video. So you don't have to go for toolbar, click the razor tool or click C for shortcut or razor tool and then move your cursor to the <coughs> to your playhead and then cut it. So no need. Just remember Control K for Windows, Command K for Mac. So again, we move our cursor. So this is the end point. So we're going to end our clip here. So select our clip. Click Control K again. Ah, see, easy, right? So then we can select and remove the clip that we don't want to use. Then we have our video. So that's about cutting. Ah, simple cutting because everything start with simple cutting, straight cut. Then after that we talk about uh, transition and others. Okay, so cutting. Control K, Command K. All right. Okay, let me go back to my slide. The second tip and tricks that I'm going to share with you is actually a freeze frame. Ah, so because we have our motion, we have video. It's a motion picture, so it's a moving picture. So how are we going to freeze the frame? So there's a three type of piece of frame. There will be a free hole. Uh, sorry, frame hole, add the frame hole, insert the frame hole segment, and others. So, what we're going to focus today is insert the frame hole segment. I am not mistaken, but I'm going to show it to you the th these three different types of a uh, frame hole. Okay, let's go back to our Premiere. Ah, all right. Let me open my Premiere. Okay, so this. Hold on, now. let me let me bring my clip. Right. So this is an effect that we want to do. So we have a clip. And then we're going to freeze the frame. And we're going to insert graphic as our title. Then it moves again. Ah. Freeze frame. Oh, free up. <laughs> Forgot already the nota. Okay, uh, uh, freeze frame. Yes. Uh, so how to do it? Okay, 
let's try it together okay first i'm going to move my clip so i'm going to move my clip let's put it here let's get the same clip uh, from my uh, demo uh, where is it where is it let me check it uh, okay, okay okay let me duplicate from here ah, okay nice okay so this is my clip so we have the mo this is the motion okay let me, let me play it first i'm going to move this uh this clip a further a bit okay let's make it the clip as uh, uh the full length of that clip all right okay so let's play the clip first so let's see so this is our original clip so we put our copy okay keep continue to our customer okay nice so i'm going to use this clip as my opening title so what i'm going to do i'm going i need to freeze the frame so that i can put my graphic okay so what i'm going to do so i'm going to bring my playhead to the cutting point that i want it to stop okay so i'm going to bring my playhead so i'm going to move it forward okay i'm going to choose here because why here because this is center of my picture where i can see uh the character is pouring the coffee started already so it's a it's good for my visual so let it let it be center right so after you've done this you make sure your cutting point you choose your cutting point select your clip right click on the clip so now we have our option here so we have a frame hole option we have a add frame hole option and we also have insert frame hole segment so let's see the different effect after we choose is either three of these yeah so let's start with the frame hole option so when you choose frame hole option so the system will ask you are we going to hold the time code okay or are we going to hold the filter so let's say we hold the time code so what what is going to be happen when we click ok so starting from that point everything will be freeze uh, starting from that point everything will be freeze so we don't want it to be like that all right so undo okay so we still have a moving picture so the first effect when we frame hold option it will it will hold uh that particular time for the whole clip yeah so we don't want to use that so we're going to do we're going to add frame hold so we click add frame hold so now as you can see here we have two separate clip it's separated the clip already so first one we have the moving and after that it continue with the whole frame but the problem here is is continue to hold the frame freeze the frame so again we don't want this for our title opening title all right so this is the effect for add a frame hold yeah go to zack undo so again so this is what we're going to use for our video right click so don't choose frame hold option don't choose add frame hole but we're going to insert the frame hole so that's mean we're going to capture this part and then we want to insert it in between our clip all right so let's see it Tada! so now we have three clip the first part the moving part the frame hole part and continue to move yes so we're going to end our clip here control k click delete so this here is how we do to stop our frame before we continue the video then we can add graphics so how to add graphic you can add it into a different uh, layer or video track so this is what i have done okay i have my video let me uh hit it first so i have my video play and then i hold it 
for five second and five second because I'm going to put my title and then it continue playback again. Uh, so first thing first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my graphic. After I add my graphic, then I add my title. So this is how I create my opening title and freeze my frame so that people can see uh, the topic subject matter is what we are presenting. If let's say you have your product, you can freeze the frame your product and then you can come up with a graphic telling the information or detailing about your product. And after that, your product can continue spinning, moving and others. So this is the second uh, technique that I would like to share to you. Uh, use frame hold, especially when you want to explain about your product, about your services or maybe about your character. Ah, so move, call it first, put graphic and put title. Then we move again. Yeah. So that's how we do a freeze or frame hold. All right. So again, right click on your clip, choose insert frame hold segment in between of your clip. All right. So let's say by default, when you put your frame hole here, it will put uh, by default as a two second. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, you can make it longer as you like. You can add, you can click, just click and drag. You can add another uh, three second to make it five second. And then after that, you can put it together again. Ah, so don't worry about that. So the whole clip here will be freeze. Okay. <laughs> so that's tips number two. Okay, let's go back to our uh, slide. Okay, so again, so we have three types, but please choose insert frame hole segment. Okay, don't you click frame hole, don't click add frame hole. But let's say if you want to have a different effect for your video, then you can experiment with, with a different option. Ah, can. Okay, 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 okay. So let's continue. Okay. So next, ah, crop video. This is very important. Uh, yeah, especially for our uh, Instagram story, Facebook story, especially for our social media marketing kits, right? When we want to show our services, product, or anything you want to show or you, you want to share. Okay, let's see how to do our crop video inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro, right? All right. So let's go back to our Premiere. Uh, okay, so crop video, what I'm going to do, uh, before I continue for the crop video, let me explain to you first. For this tutorial, for my video, I'm going to use, I'm using a size of setting for story. It can be a uh, post for IG story, uh, for Facebook story, or for YouTube clip, YouTube story, because the size is a uh, portrait, uh, 1080p uh, times 920. So we have a portrait uh, size for our video. Okay. So this is what you, I think you see it a lot in uh, TikTok, in, uh, yeah, anywhere. Uh, social media where we have like a, a three video uh, play together in a one scene or one screen. So usually we're going to show a different perspective of the action. Uh, so here is like it's about a bin where first we select the bin then we put it in the grinder and after we put it in the grinder then we put on our filter to get the, the coffee that we want. Okay so this is how we rearrange uh, our video and put it on our uh, final video setting or yeah format video setting video format especially for story and others so how to do it let me show you okay first i'm going to move this first okay let's move it further here okay and let's zoom in so by default when you have your video so let's say this is video, my first video. Okay, my first video is the, uh, we are pouring the uh, powder 
to the filter. So I'm going to find my clip. Okay. So this clip. I'm going to bring it to my timeline. Okay. Bring it to my timeline. All right. Make sure we have enough space. All right. Soon. So when I bring to my timeline, so this is the original size of my video. Uh, because if you see the details for our video, okay, I we can see that uh, our frame rate is uh, 24 frames per second and we have our size is actually is is a uh, swap rotation between portrait to landscape where we have 9020 times 1080. So, but our format is 1080 by 9020. So, we can see here the size is, uh, is, is totally different from our main video. Uh, so that's why we need to crop our video we need to resize our video all right so this is the original video okay so when we put inside our uh, video timeline okay we can see that the size is bigger okay where we can move it a lot there and we can see it take like a half of the uh, our uh, half 50 percent of our uh, screen space okay so that's not good uh, we want to do a uh, multiple layering or picture in picture for our video okay so to do the crop video is quite easy uh, it's quite easy okay first you need to understand or you need to have a effect panel the effect panel is everything about your clip effect okay so we have our clip so everything you put inside your clip will be appear in, inside your effect panel okay effect control panel so first I select my clip, then I go to my effect control, then from here, uh, see we can see we have a motion effect, we have an opacity effect, and also we have a time remapping. Okay, so focus about here on the motion part. Uh, so this is where we do our scaling, where we do our positioning for our video. Okay so let's do it all right so i have my video so i'm going to scale it from 100 percent i'm going to change it to 60. click enter so now we can see our video is become uh, become smaller ah see so this is how you scale or you crop your video okay and then after that what i'm going to do i'm going to bring it to the bottom part because we have three layer video right so we are going to click it, drag it, hold shift to make make sure it uh, move in the vertical line. Hold shift and I'm going to bring it to the bottom part. Ah, so now we have our first video. So next we go for our second video. So let's see my second video. So we have the grinder. Okay, put it here. So we have our video here. So the grind, see the size is super big. All right. Okay. So we're going to do, we're going to rescale it. Uh, we're going to rescale it. All right. So we go to effect control. But make sure we click or we select our clip. Okay. Because now it's not about the second video. This is the first video uh, effect control. So choose the first, uh, the second video effect control. See the different, right? Uh, so the value is changing okay again follow the same step scale change it to 60 enter and we reposition our uh, video but for this part i don't want to reposition it again because uh, it's already center okay because i measured it before <laughs> that's why we have 60 okay and it's uh, the placement is nice already Ah, so you have our second layer of our video. So if we play it, so we can see it played uh, together. Yeah. Ah, so let's do for our second video. Oh, sorry, our third video. Okay, so third video we have our bin. Okay, usually this we we uh, we try to do this effect to show a different perspective or TCC perspective, or if you want to show like a process from the top from the first one second one and the third one it's like flow that's happening on our 
yeah our uh, production okay this one will be i think this one okay bring it here okay see so it's currently it's uh, blocking my second video okay select my third clip go to effect control change again to 60 for the scale uh, for the scale click enter and double click on our monitor so that we can click and drag it and bring it to the top part of our video voila see so now we have our video play together uh, all right so let me show to you the one that i've done uh, so this is what i've done so you can do this this is a very good effect for story so we have multiple picture in picture and we can see a uh, simple apa, simultaneous uh, uh, event or process that's happening on our uh, video production because usually this we do to show or to educate our customer this is our process this is what we do this is what you you deserve to get all uh, right so uh, let me play it uh, nice 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 kan uh, so you can do this picture in picture so let's say if you want to try a different style also can don't worry be happy okay let's say this is experimental okay, let's say i don't want to use the, the third video i'm going to use the first and the second one so but the second video i'm going to hide first so i'm going to focus the first one so i'm going to do i'm going to click here and make it bigger change again the size to 100 percent okay but it still doesn't fulfill uh, our screen size so we can see a black area here so let's say i'm going to make it bigger just click and drag so now we have a more bigger uh, video scale rescale so we can see that okay, i'm going to put there uh, so now uh, we change our format so we have we have our video here so playing around uh, so by the same time i want to put my second video okay so let's say this is my second video so instead instead of i'm doing uh, a three layer video so what i'm going to do i'm going to do a picture in picture so to do a picture in picture i'm going to rescale my second video make it more smaller so maybe here i'm going to put uh, like a 40 percent uh 40 percent okay so i can move it and put it on the top something like this uh then if you want to make it uh, better we can put a frame or something like that ah uh, so when you play your video so this is picture in picture uh, that's mean you post another picture or another video on top of on top of your video so we have something like that uh, okay maybe make it more artistic or cinematography <laughs> so double click here i'm going to put it here uh, and then we can put maybe another graphic on top of that to make it more visible uh, so this is how we do crop resize rescale our video inside our video because sometimes when you do editing when you want to show the process we need to play around with the composition especially nowadays we have a landscape uh, style video we have lens sorry we have a landscape format video we have a portrait format video so we need to play around and fill in our screen uh, space so that we can show the maximized visual that we can show and experience to our customer okay so again this is how you do scaling cropping your video remember you cannot see the preferences or setting of your clip well, uh, when you click on your clip but what you can do go to effect control always go to effect control over here you can see all the motion all the effect everything that you can you can do or you can modify of your uh, clip video clip you want to do color correction you want to do uh, video effects everything uh, please go and check your effect control panel so if you don't have your effect control panel go to windows and open it here so the shortcut for effect control panel is shift 5 
Okay, remember, shift 5. If you lose all your, uh, your panel that you want to use, always go back to Windows and please select and check panel that you want to use. All right. Okay, that's our, I think, uh, the second tips, right? Second tips. <laughs> Let me check. So, uh, third tips, crop video. So, we already know how to do a uh, cut, simple, control K, command K, faster, use your playhead to uh, choose your cutting point, then hit control K or command K to split the video. Freeze frame, don't worry to use a freeze frame, don't worry to freeze your video so that we, co we can put more graphic, more information graphic into our video. Crop video, compose a range, compose a range, susun atom. So we already shoot our video, we want to compose it, make it more better, scale it, motion it, rotate it. Ah, semua tu ada, kat effect control ada. Okay, let's see our four tips. Ah, tips yang ke empat. So, speed and duration. So, here what we're going to do, we're going to do reverse video. Usually, when we have a, a very uh, hip hop uh, background sound, energetic uh, background sound, where we want to make sure our motion of our video is moving fast and forward, something like that, right? To get the vibe uh, and to create the ambience for our video. Eh? So, we need to know how to reverse our video and how to play around with it fast forward okay there's a few te uh, technique and tips to do it okay but today i'm going to show you to uh, i'm going to show to you to do this using speed and duration okay speed and duration but we focus on reverse yeah ah uh, we focus on reverse okay so the step is simple right click on your clip choose speed and duration select reverse are you simple yeah so let's do it okay frame pro on so let's see example that i already done so this i'm going to delete it yeah i'm going to move my clip a little bit further ah situ. okay so this is example that i've done to you so we have our copy see so we have our copy and then yes so actually the original video is a spinning in one direction so but using a reverse effect so we can change the duration uh, sorry rotation duration rotation <laughs> okay so how to do it is quite easy ah jom kita tengok i always tell my participant i only show the easy part only <laughs> okay, so let's uh, select our clip. Okay, where's so our clip? It's a coffee. Uh, I'm a coffee lover, but I don't like a fancy coffee. I always go prefer a black with no sugar coffee, but not too thick lah. Kalau too thick nanti tak tido. <laughs> okay, so chai chai saja. Okay. Ah, this is my video. So let's bring the clip to the timeline. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. All right, so this is the original clip. Okay, moving, moving, rotate, 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 rotate in one direction. Ayah, boring lah. Okay, we want to have like a hip hop. Ah, something like that, right? Okay, so we going to make it reverse forward, reverse forward. <laughs> okay, but you can see this, right? Uh, especially in the advertising. So the product come up, pushing, 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 and then pushing balik. And then sometimes they stop and they keluar uh, typography, uh, information, sale, everything, and then pushing balik. Ah, mix and match lah, macam McDonald. Okay, so now you know the tips and tricks, mix and match. All right. So what we're going to do? Ah, jump. Let's do it. So first is a rotate, uh, clockwise. Okay, I'm going to choose something over here. Ah, uh, the macam, uh, this is like the volume knob, right? Volume knob. So kita boleh nampak tu volume knob tu dia bergerak. Uh, mula dari sini and kita gerak kat sini and ah, kan so we're going to choose this part so this is what we call cutting point 
You choose where you want to cut. Chop. Chop. Macam tu. Haa, ah, kat sini. Using our playhead. Playhead ni eh. Playhead adalah garisan biru kursor tu. Haa, ah, sometimes people call kursor, blue kursor, blue line. Alright. So, actually, it's, uh, we call it playhead lah eh. So, here what we're going to do, we're going to click control K. Haa, ah, our first tip. Control K. So, that's mean we already separate the clip. Okay. So, after we separate the clip, so next thing we're going to do, uh, okay, we're going to go for our second clip here. Uh, because we uh, separate it, right? One and two. So, we go to the second clip. So, we're going to apply the reverse effect on the second clip. Alright. So, let me zoom it a bit here. Okay. So, right click. Go to speed and duration, and automatically we choose uh, reverse speed. Ah, uh, choose reverse speed. So when we click reverse speed, we click OK. So that's mean this clip is already reverse. Uh, but a a a a a a a a a ah uh, the position is not there. Betul kan? Ah, uh, macam ni tadi bawah ni atas ah uh, bawah atas. It's not there. The position is not there. Okay. Remember cutting point. So, when we cut, the original cutting point is here. But when we reverse, the cutting point actually is here. Ah. So, this is the trick. Cutting point. Ah, sebab tu kena sharp. So, dia dapat cantik. So, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, Rescale our, not rescale, uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to stretch our clip. Uh, stretch, panjang pendek kan tak? Uh. So, we're going to do from here, we're going to put our cursor, uh, sorry, our playhead to the end of the clip because this is the cutting point. So, we're going to drag it and then we're going to compress it. Uh, so, then these two cutting point will merge together. Uh, dia jumpa satu sama lain. Ah, so let's see. So pusing, pusing. Ah, pusing, pusing. Ah, see. So we need to join the two cutting point together. Ah, uh, because we put a reverse effect, so it's already uh, reflect the cutting point to the other side. Ah, uh, so itu importantnya cutting point. Ah, uh, nanti orang tanya cutting point tu apa? Cutting point tu apa kan? Uh, so, this is the important cutting point. Especially, you want to make it like a flow, is a, like a smooth flow of our motion. Uh, so, jom kita tambah-tambah lagi. Cik, cik, cik. And so, yang ni, okay, it's going to move anti-clockwise. So, we're going to stop oop, before it go there. So, kita ambil 45 degrees. Uh, kat sini. Okay, kan? Dia punya uh, holder ni, dia punya cup, cup holder ni kan. Ah, so sini apa kita buat? We going to click Control K again. Uh, so this is our cutting point. Ah, so from here, okay, move, go back, and move back. Ah, so we're going to do select our third clip. So the third part, right click, speed and duration. Okay, uncheck our reverse speed. So, kita uncheck balik. So, what going to be happen? So, the clip become normal again. Uh, so, bila become normal again, so our cutting point is going to change from here to here. So, this is my cutting point. Uh, so, if we're going to stitch it, we're going to stitch it from there. So, let's stretch our video clip, make it longer and compress it, make it started, starting from the cutting point. Right click, ripple delete, attach together. So let's see what's happening. Cheat, 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 cheat. Ah, but too slow lah. So, but too slow. Ah, you can change it later. Ah, nice. Nice, right? So this is how you do your reverse video. So sometimes we have our uh, actor. Our product is moving, coming back and moving to add more hype motion, energetic motion uh, to our video. Okay. So again, reverse speed.
uh, reverse click. Okay, you can do it as many as you like. You can uh, change the duration. Usually we put one second, one second. So to make it fast and according to the beat, if let's say you have, uh, you have your video, so you can follow your beat because here we don't have video. So I just put my direction according to the uh, hold, uh, cup holder. Okay, but this is how we do our reverse video. Okay, so if you repeat the same process again, then this is what will going to be happen lah. Uh, see, dia ada dua kali. Twice. Uh, twice reverse. And so that's it. So you can reverse, you can hold, you can put graphic, you can put according to your music. Uh, according to your music. So it's quite easy, right? Select your clip, right click, go to speed and duration, check reverse speed. You want to make it normal or you want to make it reverse? Okay. So that's it, right? Tips number four. Ah, okay. So let's go to our slide. The last tip, ah, transition. Okay. So transition will enhance uh, the smoothness of your video. When we play back, when we show it to our customer, some video require a simple cut, hard cut, or sometimes we call it hard cut, simple cut, straight cut. Okay, it's easy for the editor, but some like a video for uh, usually for like a, a construction or a, a new uh, town or to introduce a new uh, hometown, something like that, right? So uh, that one we need to make it the transition smooth uh, the transition smooth so transition uh is uh, we, we use it a lot we use it a lot in the process of editing okay so how to do it shortcut is control d command d for uh, max or uh, what you can do we can right click on our clip on at the beginning and ending of our clip and choose default transition so but when we choose default transition it will be a simple dissolve but let's say you have your particular or your you have your own transition you can go to effect panel go to video transition select transition and make it as a default uh, this is how we do it and we see, uh, set it okay so let's do it in premiere pro okay so usually when you have your video so i'm going to uh, put it together like this uh, this is what we call like a offline so offline, that's mean we uh, put it first, uh, the video according to arrangement. Uh, without any effect, without transition, without nothing lah, without graphic. So because we want to see the storyline first. So I'm going to put that and going to play so we can see the process. First we select the bin. And then after we select the bin, we grind the bin. Okay, we can put text later, right? And then after that, we put it to the filters where we put a hot water so that we have our coffee. So then we put a pour our hot water. Ah, yum 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 yum. See, okay, and then we have our coffee. So after that, wow, cantik punya texture. The texture you can see, wow, so rich. And then and serve, ah, uh, in the hot coffee, right? I don't want to sass up sikit. Ah, okay. So when we do this, right? So this is a simple cut. Simple cut. But let's say you want to add transition. Okay. So if let's say you have a single clip. Uh, so let's say this is a single clip. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So this is single clip. So what we're going to do, we're going to select the clip. Click Control K. Uh, uh, sorry, Control D for Windows and Command D for uh, Mac. So if we click Control D, see we have a dissolve at the beginning and also at the ending of our clip. So by default, the, the transition uh, timing is one second. Yeah? So we can see this is a dissolve, fade to black. Ah, so you click automatically, it become a transition for the that clip at the beginning and ending. Okay, but usually we don't work with one clip only, right? Except for the master clip lah. So usually we have something like this. We have multiple clips that attach together. Uh, so how to do it? Simple. Okay. Move your cursor. Uh, move your cursor to the clip. Always move your cursor to the clip. 
and and also the beginning uh, and <laughs> beginning of the clip okay right click apply default transition if let's say you cannot see this function option or this option that's mean you right click not at the beginning or not at the end of the clip okay right click at the beginning of the clip apply default transition automatically we have our transition or in between of clip move your cursor in the between right click and also you can apply default transition so it already attach or stitch two clip together here something like this okay ah uh, so from selecting the bin to grind uh, so automatically so this is default cross dissolve let's say i want to have a different transition okay don't worry go to effect ah uh, go to effect later i'll tell you how to rearrange our workspace because as you can see eh, i have my project my bin i have my effect and beside my effect i have my effect control smart right ah okay so you must have effect then you control it uh like wife lah you must have wife then you control it <laughs> just kidding ah huh? okay go to effect and then we go and choose a video transition ah uh, video transition this is not by default ah huh? this is you have to arrange uh by your own huh? and save it okay you see my name uh, save it as my name go to video transition select any transition you like example i'm going to go for uh 3d motion uh flip over right click on the flip over okay select a default transition okay again in the slow motion okay we go to effect panel we go to the window transition always click the arrow here there's a tiny white arrow here that i don't know why they put very tiny okay and then choose the folder that you like especially the the, the, the folder name okay i'm going to go for 3d motion and again click the tiny arrow there and choose the effect you want right click and set as a default transition so when we set as a default transition when we apply to our clip right click apply default transition so it's become automatically flip over ha macam video video corporate dulu dulu saya buat ha so dia akan jadi macam ni don't suka ni 3d 3d ha see so right click default transition Ah, see, ah, senang kan? <laughs> so this is how we do. Sometimes because sometimes you have your preference transition. Macam ah uh, Josh ah uh, Lucas dia suka pakai apa tu? Ah uh, Josh Lucas dia suka pakai wipe the slide, uh, something like that. Ah, uh, and dia punya filem kan? Ada filem, ada corporate video dia love like a flying flying cube spin. So let's say we choose cube spin as our default transition. And if let's say we go for a transition here, apply default transition. Let's see the cube spin. Ah, ini pun effect. Uh, previously when I do uh, corporate video documentary, people love it because it's 3D, right? Who doesn't love 3D? Okay. Shoo. Ah, so kita letak effect macam tu. Shoo. Ah. So this is how you do your video. Sometimes you need to put transition, sometimes you don't. But if you have to put it, put it smart, put it fast. Okay, move your cursor to the clip, go to the end, go to the in between two clip, right click and apply default transition, something like that. Easy peasy. Ah, senang dengan kerja kita kan? Ah, so letak sini, import default transition. Dah, settle, render, tunjuk kat klien. So play it, so dia akan dissolve. Chu, 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 chu. Lepas tu tukar, keting, 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 keting. And, and then pusing lagi. Chu. And, lepas tu dia pusing lagi. Kan, ah, nak tunjukkan the process ah, kat sini kan. Sini kalau bagus dapat buat end dua layer kan. Ah, satu atas, satu bawah macam tu. So we can see the action in the simultaneous way, ah, simultaneous time. Ah, tuang. And you can see the texture, Ooh, so rich. I need coffee after this. 
Okay. Ah, settle habis. So that's how you do your transition. If you need to do, okay, and always check which transition you want to do or you want to use as your default. They say you want to be like a general uh, editor, so we always choose for cross dissolve. Okay, set as a default transition because it's cross dissolve. It's been used to many type of video, uh, cross dissolve and cut straight cut. All right. Uh, so let's see again our slide. So kat situ kita ada apa? Ah, uh, bila? Okay, kita sebelum habis. Let's uh recheck again. So we have five tips and technique that I shared for, uh, to you today. Okay, say so yang pertama, the first one we have cut shortcut. Control K for Windows, Command K for uh, window, uh, Mac and we have a freeze frame. Uh, usually uh, we love to use freeze frame because we can bring it to graphic, we can to edit, uh, we can add more graphic, we can add more text. Usually like uh, kalau you tengok keluarga Bahadon punya uh, opening title, okay, they put a uh, freeze frame and uh, lepas tu dia bawa ke Photoshop and then put uh, like a drawing effect. And then you need to crop your video because I love to see on the TikTok video, they put a three layer video, especially for the wedding. So we can see from different, different type angle. And reverse video for action because we can see uh, things is uh, spinning, flying and then come back. All right. And lastly is transition. So these tips will help you or uh, will enhance your experience in editing. Cuba-cuba uh, lah. Okay. And then mix the match the tips and technique. Jangan malu-malu. Adobe Premiere is many things to do. It's complicated, but there's a lot of uh, what we call it. You can uh, experiment with it. Ah, uh, experiment je. Ah, uh, tukar-tukar je. Okay. So again, itu sahaja daripada saya perkongsian saya pada hari ini. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for listening to me. Okay, my name is Mo Ismail. I'm attached with the Excel Academy. Okay, if you want to know more or if you want to learn more about video uh, editing, okay, uh, don't call me, <laughs> but this is my person, uh, my my numbers. Okay, call them. Uh, okay, call them. Okay, all right. So that's it for me, and I think I give back to uh, Rosnita for a closer. Okay, thank you. Thank you.